Hey, what's going on guys? This is uh, Jake here, and I just want to put together this quick video of uh, making a custom cheek piece for my uh, Savage FCP 6.5 Creedmoor. So if you don't have the funds to, uh, to drop on a uh, expensive chassis or, or something like that, or, or another type of composite stock, um, you can make a uh, cheek piece that is custom fit to you with uh, just a couple simple items. So let me go ahead and show you what those are. So to uh, start off, all you need is a uh, two by four that I've already done some of the wor work, but you'll, you'll cut it down to uh, fit your actual uh, buttstock cheek rest. Um, for instance, this is the Fox Tactical. And uh, you'll, you'll cut it down to size, and I've already done a little bit of work, but you'll uh, sand it as well, and you'll slowly just work it down until you get the right uh, cheek rest that uh, will be custom fit to yourself. What I've, what I've done is, like I said, you trimmed it down to, to fit, and as you can see, I've uh, shaped it to the actual uh, stock itself. And uh, I did this by uh, getting a center line drawn. And after I got my center line, I uh, dremeled out a, a small, small part of it, but most of it was uh, done in this fashion. So obviously I had a little bit uh, better space to work with, but just to show you what I did is I uh, put the uh, sandpaper um, over the stock and uh, before I obviously put the dowels in I, I slowly just worked it back and forth until I got a custom fit from the top of the stock so it does take some time but like I said I use a Dremel to, to start with to uh, work work the wood to get it started so now after I worked the actual stock itself I just went to uh, Lowe's um, or Home Depot and you can get a dowel kit which is going to come with the actual dowels that you'll use for your uh, cheek rest and the actual drill itself. So you can actually set the, the uh, distance that you want to be uh, drilled into, um, be able to make easy work of that, that uh, pilot holes for those dowels and uh, about five, six bucks. So after I measured where those dowels would actually be um, put, I went ahead and uh, drilled those pilot holes for those dowels, and uh, which which was pretty simple. Add a little bit of wood glue and uh, tapped them in there, and now I have a uh, custom uh, cheek rest that is going to allow me to set the the proper height that'll fit me just perfect. And eventually, you'll take the uh, Fox Tactical cheek rest, and it'll be going over the piece of wood which I will show a little bit later with the complete product. So this is probably the scariest part of it for myself was uh, actually taking a, a drill into my uh, actual stock. No one really wants to do that, kind of scary, but uh, it, it's really not a big deal. And uh, again, measure twice, drill once. Don't, don't catch yourself uh, doing, doing something silly and put extra holes that you don't need. Uh, myself, I used actual three dowels for some extra support and what made it easy was when they actually made the stock it actually has a center line already on the top of the stock uh, drilled these holes and uh, what will happen here after it's done like i said uh, it will fit in there still have some sanding to do but just to show you before i actually get to the complete product and I'm going to have that cheek weld um, custom fit um, specific to me for my rifle. This next part was just a little bit more uh, tedious than hard. It just uh, took a little bit of time so after I sand it I would uh, check my uh, cheek relief and uh, continue to do this process over and over again. As you could see, I had to make some uh, gross adjustments and uh, take a little bit off and then uh, check my cheek relief again, which I would continue to do this several times. So, uh, but I, what I didn't want to do was take off more than, uh, than I needed. So I would begin to sand it again, reshape it, 
and uh, check my cheek relief on the rifle. Um, when I'm checking my cheek relief on the rifle, I'm first putting my uh, cheek naturally on my uh, cheek rest and then uh, opening my eyes. So I'll close my eyes first and then open it and I should be looking straight down the scope. And uh, can you do this a couple more times until I was finally able to uh, get the desired results that I wanted. With a little bit of spray paint, it almost uh, looks like it belongs there. And uh, here is a view of the actual final product. Lastly, here are just a few items that I used to do this DIY custom cheek dress. Thanks for watching.